let's consider the case where there is negligible internal resistance to heat transfer that is that Biot number is less than 0 0.1 this type of analysis is also called lumped system analysis uh, it is called lumped system because we assume that there is no temperature gradient within the object that heat transfers so rapidly inside the solid object that there is no uh, temperature variation uh, temperature only changes with time let's take an example of a solid object that is initially at temperature ti and we suddenly expose it to a higher temperature environment and let's say that temperature of the environment is ta so we will write a heat balance uh, to see how heat is transferring into this object under uh, unsteady state conditions. So heat transfer uh, will result in a change of the internal energy of this object and that change in internal energy because of the heat transferring from the surroundings will equal density rho times specific heat uh, that will be Cp times the volume of this object times dt where t, uppercase t represent temperature divided by dt which refers to time so this quantity tells us how the internal energy of this object is changing because of heat that is transferring into the object now that heat of course is transferring uh, from the surrounding environment through the surface of this object so we can also equate this to h that is the convective heat transfer coefficient at the surface of the object times the surface area a of that object times ta which is the surrounding air temperature minus t where T is the temperature of the object at any time. So we have then this differential equation rho CPV dT over dT equals HA TA minus T. Now we can solve this differential equation uh, through uh, very few simple steps. Uh, recall from your calculus that the way to solve differential equations is by separating variables so there are two variables here the temperature is changing and the time is changing so capital T and lowercase t are the two variables so we will rewrite this equation as dt divided by ta minus t equals ha dt over rho CPV. Now note that what we have done is we have separated the variables the uppercase T which is temperature on left hand side and lowercase t uh, the time on the right hand side. Next we will integrate this and uh, the limits for integral will be Ti to T that is the initial temperature to some temperature for the object uh, we have dt over ta minus t and that equals ha rho cpv these are all constant terms they do not change with time and then we have the integral from 0 to some time lowercase t and then dt now recall that for the left hand side this is same as the integral of dx over x where x in this case is capital T uh, and in the denominator since we have the negative sign the integral for the left hand side will be minus natural log of ta minus t where the integral is evaluated at ti and t that equals h a rho CPV then T minus 0 note that the integral of DT is essentially T so now we have a 
algebraic equation and uh, we can uh, evaluate the t temperature at Ti and T. So we have minus natural log of Ta minus T and then we have plus natural log of Ta minus T and that equals Ha T over rho CPV. Now recall again from your algebra that natural log of A minus natural log of B can also be written as natural log of A over B. So we have then taking care of the negative sign, we have minus natural log Ta minus T divided by Ta minus Ti equals HAT over rho CPV. Now again if we rearrange the terms we take the natural log on the right hand side so we will have to take this quantity on the right hand side into an exponent so we have Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti equals e raised to power minus HA divided by rho CPV and then we have time T and also simplify that by saying it is Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti equals e raised to power minus B times T where B is HA over rho CPV. So we have obtained a solution for the case of negligible internal resistance when Biot number is less than 0.1 as the temperature ratio Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti equals e raised to power minus B times T. Now note that Ta minus T in the left hand side is what is called the unaccomplished temperature difference between the heat transfer medium and the object. It is unaccomplished because uh, the object is heating from some initial temperature and after a long period of time it will reach the surrounding temperature. So at any given point in time uh, it is still the heat transfer is not fully accomplished so we call that the unaccomplished temperature difference uh, for the uh, numerator uh, Ta minus T. Whereas Ta minus Ti is the maximum temperature difference at the start of the heating process. So at the start the object was at Ti and the surrounding uh, temperature was Ta. The uh, ratio Ta minus T divided by Ta minus Ti is called the unaccomplished temperature fraction. So let's see what happens when this unaccomplished temperature ratio equals 1. Well, in that case, Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti will equal 1. Then Ta minus T will equal Ta minus Ti. And Ta will cancel out. So T will be equal to Ti. In other words, when this temperature ratio equals 1, then the temperature of the object is still the initial temperature. That means it hasn't really heated. It is still at the initial temperature. No heat has transferred into the object. On the other hand, if we consider this temperature ratio to be equal to zero, so Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti equals zero, then 
TA minus T will be equal to zero or T will be equal to TA. In other words, the temperature of the object will reach the surrounding temperature. In other words, it's fully heated. So what this means is that as the time progresses, the unaccomplished temperature fraction decreases uh, and it decreases to zero, although it never really reaches zero because it's an exponent term. So it approaches zero in an asymptotic manner. So what this means is that as the time passes, the unaccomplished temperature fraction decreases, uh, approaches that value zero in an asymptotic manner. So, uh, and that is because of this exponent term. And the B value tells us something about how rapidly or slowly the object is going to heat because the B value is influenced by the thermal properties, the size, as well as the convective conditions surrounding the object.